Hello, friends. Pastor Dave here for our daily devotional. Thanks for joining me today. I'm sure everyone who's listening right now has had times when they've been stressed out. I've got some things going on right now that just a, just a lot of things happening at the same time that are sort of stressful. And what do you do with your stress? One of the times I was really stressed and didn't even realize it at the time, I took a mission team down to Peru and we were building the orphanage building that we supported for years. And I took a group of teenagers along with me. There were a lot of of adults, but there were some teenagers as well. And we were digging in the Amazon rainforest and we were pouring concrete and cutting rebar, using power tools, um, drinking water that was a little suspect. And there were a lot of things going on right at that time. And I thought about these kids and it would have been so easy to get hurt with doing those things we were doing. One time some rebar rebounded. It was kind of bent and it popped out. And one of the teenagers got hit in the face with a rebar. Fortunately, it wasn't the end. Those were often sharp because of us cutting them. But it it was right in the middle of it, and it left a little bruise that looked kind of like a war paint on our face. Uh, But it went away, and I remember when our plane landed back in Miami. We were back on U.S. soil. I remember letting out my breath, and I realized at the time that there had been a weight on my shoulder that just came off. It's like I got these kids back from Peru. And they're all alive. (laughs) And I didn't realize how much stress I'd been in until that moment. But what do you do with your stress? Psalm 28, 6 and following says, Praise be to the Lord, for he has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy. And with my song, I praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people, a fortress of salvation for his anointed one. So what do you do with your stress? You give it to God. As the Bible says, you can cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. There's been times when I felt that same release from stress when I thought, oh, I can pray about this. So whatever you're going through, take it to God. Life is not for the faint-hearted. Life can be very difficult. In fact, Jesus promised that. In this life you'll have trouble. But then he said, take heart, I have overcome the world. Jesus is bigger than cancer. He's bigger than bankruptcy. He's bigger than, than legal problems. He's bigger than health problems. He's bigger than death. What can the world do to us if God's on our side? We can certainly go through some hard stuff, but we'll never fail, finally. The end will be okay if we're with God. So let's take it to him. Let's take it to him right now. Father, I pray for those who are listening and watching. Although I may not know anything about the stress they're going through, you know what it is. And I pray right now for release that they would be able to see your answers, and even if they can't see it right now, to trust that you have them and that you would allow the stress to leave their shoulders. Father, may we depend on you. May we trust in you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you all. I love you all, and I'll be home soon. Take care.